last forever. Until a single virus destroyed society in a few days. But here we are, eight months later, and you haven't learned anything. Somehow, you can't see that you're making the same mistakes that brought it all down in the first place. Your job, Agent, is to protect this delusion. And I have sworn to destroy it. You can try to stop me, hunt me down, kill me. Agent, listen up. You and your squad are urgently needed in New York City. A biological attack hit Lower Manhattan. We need your help to hunt down the one responsible. Aaron Keener. Call sign Vanguard. He's the one behind the deadly attack on Division Headquarters that killed dozens of top Division agents and countless innocent civilians. And we suspect... He's just getting started. Keep in mind, Keener knows this city inside and out. And he's as cunning and as lethal as they come. Originally, Keener was one of us. But eight months ago, the Division failed him by leaving him to die in the Dark Zone. That was the day he lost faith and went rogue. He disappeared and gathered all the tools he needed to engineer his own biological weapons. He doesn't just want revenge. He seeks chaos. He believes it is the only way for humanity to thrive. Keener isn't the only one with an axe to grind against the Division. There are others. Keener has recruited four rogue agents who not only share his extremist vision, they have the skills to execute it. They've worked their way up within factions ruling over Lower Manhattan. If we want to get to Keener, we'll need to go through them first. First up, Vivian Conley. Former counterterrorism intelligence agent and chemical engineer. Conley's last known location was the Two Bridges sector. A hurricane ravaged the coast a few months ago, so it's a far cry from the thriving urban sector it once was. Keener's second rogue agent is Javier Kajika, a master of stealth and infiltration. He was a black ops hitman for the US government. With the government collapse, his loyalty goes to whoever will feed his need for blood. Our latest intel locates Kajika somewhere in the Battery Park area, the part of the city that's taken over by swamp. The terrain is rough and scattered with giant sinkholes that used to be subway tunnels. Odds are he knows you're coming for him and plans to use the dicey terrain to get the drop on you. Both Conley and Kajika work with the cleaners, a former New York City sanitation unit that believes only fire can stop the virus. Conley was recruited by the cleaners when she went rogue, and thanks to her technical expertise, they're deadlier than ever. We've been exchanging blows with them for a while, but their methods are ruthless, and their cleansing fire takes no prisoners.
James Dragov, former police officer, a heavy weapons and defense specialist. His relentless fight for justice made him a legend on the force. Yet, his allegiance has changed. Dragov took hold of the financial district and has been using it as the center of his black market operation. Our intel suggests he's still there. Be careful, major flooding has transformed the entire district into a mudslide. Last but not least, Theo Parnell, a drone engineer and skilled hacker. He's managed to stay off the grid, so all we can say for sure is he's a true master of decoys and deception. Keeners arranged for the Rikers to protect him at an unknown location in the Civic Center area. Dragov and Parnell have both been linked to the Rikers, ex-cons from Rikers Island Prison. Regardless of who their enemies were in the past, they've agreed to band together. Their motto, power by numbers. And just like Keener, they thrive in chaos. Before you arrive at the base of operations with Agent Alani Kelso, I should warn you, a lot has changed in New York. The days when division agents were seen as knights in shining armor are long gone. The people around here are survivors. Ever since Keener and his rogue agents took over Lower Manhattan, there's been a distrust of division agents amongst civilians. Agent Fei Lau has been the acting commander of the division in New York City and is leading the hunt for Keener. Her methods are unconventional. But we're in a race against the clock and Lau knows what it takes to get results quickly. You'll also find Paul Rhodes, now the leader of the civilian settlement. Because he's so tapped into the city, he may be able to help you track Keener and his rogue agents. Our mission is simple. Find and eliminate Keener. But to expose our target, we'll need to take down his chain of rogue agents before they destroy us. Agents, the hunt for Keener is on. Welcome to New York. I'm Drew Reckner, Associate Game Director on The Division 2. This is a gameplay walkthrough of Warlords of New York, our new expansion introducing a new area to the world of The Division 2. In order to avoid spoiling our narrative-driven campaign, some parts of the video are edited out. Aaron Keener has been spreading chaos here in New York, creating a world where the strongest will remain. To reach Keener, we must go for his followers first. The hunt has just started. Parnell was an RPA pilot before he went rogue, so he knows drones inside and out. Rhodes told us that the peacekeepers in two bridges have been tracking cleaner movements for the past few days. This is our best bet to learning more about Conley. Vivian Conley, former First Wave Division agent. She went rogue, losing faith in the Division at the worst of the collapse. She joined the cleaners soon after, and her chemical expertise had made them deadlier than ever. This is Haven, our new base of operations here in New York. It was founded a few months back by first responders and civilian volunteers who call themselves the Peacekeepers. They have everything they need in here, security, food, supplies. They've been standing on their ground against the Rikers and the Cleaners. All of that without the Division. They have let us in, but to them, we are yet another group of troublemakers. We will have to earn their trust back. Right back in the same goddamn mess we were in when Amherst unleashed green poison. I set up Haven without the division. 
and all the blood and violence you bring with you. And Faye, she's been flag-waving from behind the authority of a division badge for way too long. Don't make me regret letting you into my home. I won't forgive it. Keener is putting a lot of pressure on the people of New York. They are on the edge, but these are the people you are fighting for. These civilians need to be given a chance to be safe and decide what comes next by themselves. We have been informed of a confrontation between the Rikers, known for attacking any kind of law enforcement, and the peacekeepers at a nearby outpost in the Two Bridges area. This could be a lead to our next target, Vivian Conley. Two Bridges was one of the areas that held out the longest after the outbreak. Many of the locals refused to leave their homes and move into Sarah camps. They tried to set up neighborhood community centers rather than relying on the government. Most of them didn't make it. With the cleaners and the other factions wreaking havoc in the area, it was never really sustainable. These days, only a few remain. I've got reports that the peacekeepers are trying to take a Riker's control point. Give them a hand. See what you can find out from them. There will be new weapons and tools to play with, and one of the old favorites, the Sticky Bomb, has been brought back. It latches to surfaces and enemies alike. You can detonate it at the perfect time, providing new tactical opportunities in combat. Warlords of New York is also introducing a host of overall changes to UI and gear systems. Our goal is to ensure that gear and weapons have clearer intended roles, allowing easier decision making. You can see right away how much an item can help you optimize your gear later. Rhodes told us you're looking for a rogue agent working with the cleaners. Yeah, we've seen her. She's sneaky, but still seems to go out on missions with the rest of the guys. Check in with the community near here. They're keeping track of the latest news. Sounds like Conley's been busy. Head to the community and see what they've found. We're getting warmer. We have skipped some of the steps of our manhunt. As this is a main mission, we could complete it on our own, just like the rest of the game. But playing with friends can also be fun. For this last push, let's welcome another agent into our game and work together to take down Conley. After the outbreak, a devastating hurricane hit New York harder than any other city in the U.S. The city was flooded, blocking roads and collapsing bridges, all bringing the already quarantined city into a total state of chaos. Time to take down Vivian Conley and hopefully get us one step closer to finding Keener. This massive tanker has crashed onto the shore, creating an oil spill. Cleaners are harvesting it with the help of Vivian Conley to fuel their weapons. Shit! Fucking oil gas! Somebody's gotta fix those coin pumps! Fuck! Pull me out!
system compromised. Conley's not gonna like that one bit. Good. Let's see what else you can mess with that'll piss her off. Fighting indoors is more challenging, but different enemies have different weak points you can use to your advantage. fought our way through the ship. This is it. We are close to Conley. It's on you now, Agent. Good luck. Here you are, like a mob to the plague. You really have no idea what you are doing. The cause you are compromising right now. Agent Conley, We at Massive are incredibly excited to bring this expansion to life. We worked on the Division I, Division II, and now that same team, we're working on this expansion. And this really is the opportunity for us to bring not only an exciting new narrative, but a lot of new gameplay and a lot of new improvements as well. More than ever, I think there is something for everyone in this game, and that's what's really exciting. It's new gear, new gameplay elements, new skills, new reasons to play the game. Warlords of New York is set in Lower Manhattan, a brand new area in the world of the Division franchise, which has been faithfully reproduced at a one-to-one -one scale. In Warlords of New York, you can push your agent further than ever before thanks to an increased level cap from level 30 to level 40. But hitting level 40 is not the end. Warlords of New York is introducing a new infinite progression system, allowing you to continue to improve your agent's stats and refine your playstyle even after reaching level 40. For players who have already reached level 30 in the Division 2, you can jump directly into the brand new campaign of Warlords of New York. If you are new to the Division 2, you can choose to start at level 1 in Washington, D.C. or start at level 30 in New York City. Players choosing to jump first into Warlords of New York will be able to go back to DC once they have completed the new campaign. We've taken a lot of feedback from our fans into consideration when developing this expansion. And that includes changes to the way that our inventory system works, changes to RPG, making sure that builds are now more viable than ever before. Warlords of New York is expanding the amounts of equipment available for agents. Our new arsenal spreads across new gear brands, new gear sets, new weapons, and new exotic items. Warlords of New York is also introducing major changes in the gear system for the Division 2. All gear and weapon stats are being streamlined. We're bringing in major improvements to our UI, ensuring that attributes and advantages are easy and quick to understand. Every single loot drop will be exciting, we're ensuring that you will always loot something that has a stat or bonus to complement your gear set and playstyle. And it's emphasized by the introduction of talent storage that allows you to apply bonuses that you have looted at least once to your favorite gear piece. All of these improvements will ensure that agents' builds can be as diverse as the playstyle you really want to dig into. The rogue agents you're hunting all have a unique specialized skill. When you eliminate one of them, you will add their unique skill to your arsenal. Shock traps. These are the best tools for crowd control, since they'll incapacitate enemies and make them easier to target. They interconnect so you can create virtual tripwires. Just the thing for a surprise ambush or to give an agent enough time to find new cover when an unexpected wave of enemies rushes in. 
echo-based hologram decoys. Use these to attract enemy fire so you can find new cover or draw the enemy to a specific position, giving you an unprecedented tactical advantage. Explosive Sticky Bombs – our new take on the fan favorite from The Division 1. They're long-range projectiles that need to be activated by the agent with a quick tap of the trigger. They can latch onto environmental elements and enemies alike. And Fire Spreading Sticky Bombs – burning with an intense flame once set, continuously dealing damage to anyone in its range of effect. Playing with skills has never been easier in The Division. Thanks to the new tier system, you will directly see and understand how your gear impacts the power of your skills. The Dark Zones from Washington, D.C. are being revamped. We are returning to a simpler rogue mechanic and rewarding players who help each other in the Dark Zones. Additional gameplay features such as Legendary Difficulty, Directives, Invasion Difficulty Level, and more are included in Warlords of New York. These additions expand the range of activities, challenges, and rewards available. Oh, and one last thing. It seems you're not the only one on the hunt in Lower Manhattan. Stay on guard at all times. What's very important for us with Warlords of New York is not only to give you the fantastic story and hunt for Kinner from level 30 to level 40, but also make sure that your experience continues and carries on once you reach level 40. So to do that, we're adding a new feature that is called Seasons. In post-launch, Seasons will introduce new targets to hunt down, each with their own stories and unique rewards. Each season will be filled with global events, leagues with leaderboards, and weapons and gear to unlock. With the seasons, each activity will come with its own rewards, gameplay and cosmetic to really be able to show your achievements and show how well you performed. Seasons will reward you with apparel, equipment drops and resources. Players wanting even more can opt for a premium paid track for additional rewards. More to come as we get closer to Season 1. The Hunt for Keener starts now with Episode 3, the prologue to Warlords of New York. Episode 3 is a free update that includes two new action-packed missions in a brand new area, Coney Island, plus a new endgame specialization. Episode 3 is actually the beginning of this whole new phase. This is the episode that introduces the whole narrative and the whole reason and motivation why you are going back to New York that will then culminate with Warlords of New York. So this is really the right moment to get back into the game, to get started. Episode 3 will be available to play tomorrow, February 12th, for all owners of the Year 1 Pass. And it will be available on February 19th for all players of The Division 2. Warlords of New York is a great time to join in and playing The Division 2. Division 2 is already a fantastic game and we are building on that. Warlords of New York will be available on March 3rd, 2020. Owners of The Division 2 can directly purchase the Warlords of New York expansion. For new players, bundles including The Division 2, The Warlords of New York expansion and more are also available. Good luck out there, agents. The hunt is on.